Hello, welcome to a new series of videos that I call Crafts and Chats. Crafts and Chats, episode one. Yay! In these videos, I would like to talk about what has been in my mind and also do some crafting. For today's craft, we're gonna be making some butterfly bookmarks. I actually made a few a few days ago. Oh, well, I made two. This is what they look like. And I made this one first and it turned out way too big in my opinion. So I made a smaller one and I think this one is a lot cuter. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this one. I have a piece of paper right here and I'll put the measurements up here. So today I would like to talk about names. I have actually been thinking about changing my name for a while now. My English one, not my Mandarin one. I've had like a few options. I'll put them up right here. And I've been thinking that Adeline might be the best choice because I would like to keep the Lin in my name. If you guys are wondering why my name right now is Lindy, um, I have the word Ling in my Mandarin name, so that's why my name is Lindy. Anyways, I never really liked my name to begin with. Like, I've always felt like it sounded weird. I mean, people do say that you're supposed to think your name sounds weird because you say it all the time, but I don't know, Lindy just kind of always sounded odd to me. Okay, I forgot to literally give instructions. Now that you have this, you want to fold down the top parts while leaving like a little space here. I'm super bad at explaining this, but I hope you guys can just tell what I'm doing by watching. Okay, off topic, but I realized that I literally have been telling people my wrong MBTI. I am an INTJ, but somehow in my 50 facts about me video, I said I was an INFJ. And I'm the kind of person that forgets your own MBTI type all the time. So whenever people ask about my MBTI, I would just refer back in my 50 facts about me video. Yeah, I just kind of kept telling people the wrong answer. Anyways, I am an INTJ. Uh, okay, this is the last step. You want to fold down this part and then you would kind to see like the butterfly wings now you have a butterfly bookmark you can choose to color it or not color it i prefer coloring it i already picked out four colors for the wings i'm literally using my old phone as a second camera anyways i'm gonna start coloring to all my introvert friends out there have you ever been forced to go to like summer camps by your parents because i have and i'm 100 percent sure my mom signed me up for these summer camps because she thought I was making no friends. Like when I was in elementary school, she thought I had some problems <laughs> in making friends. So I was really shy. Like I was so shy to talk to people. My mom would like sign me up for these summer camps and just force me to go, which honestly thinking that was not the best experiences because I would literally like want to cry every time I had to meet new people. I never realized being forced to go to summer camps was a universal experience until I came across like this TikTok yesterday and it was basically just, like someone talking about their experiences like growing up as an introvert and everyone in the comments were like oh yes I used to be forced to go to like parties and social events by my parents because they thought I was making no friends I just thought that was interesting please like comment or leave a damu tell me if you've actually had experiences like that I'm gonna keep coloring my butterfly and I'll be back when I'm done and there it is the bookmark and if you're wondering how this goes on your books when you look at your bookmark you'll find like a little opening here and then so it looks like this looks like like a butterfly is on the top corner of your page and honestly i think this is a pretty cute idea so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about random things and i'll see you guys in our next crafts and chats Bye!